So, and for the people that don't know, do you mind taking a second and just explaining what polyamory is? Because I know there's a, yeah. there's some there's some I've heard definitions. I was like, well, no, that's that's not it. If, if you mind, if you don't mind taking a couple seconds just to like explain uh, what exactly that is. Well, I would consider for me polyamory, right? Is that the mm. uh, the idea that you can love more than one person and be in a relationship then with more than one person? Right. And I said I'm going to send you this a uh, Bloom a uh, workshop that we did after that. Uh, Kai, but she was talking about uh, moving away even from monogamy and non-monogamy as like the two edges and thinking about like beyond non-monogamy is like being in the flow like oh I might fall in love with you and now we're right. gonna not be in relationship with anyone else because we're right. doing this thing of deepening and then we might want to completely open and not be you know committed to anyone so I think polyamory is under the umbrella of like non monogamies, but really under right. the umbrella of like everything is possible, like any relationship mm -hmm. that you might yes. have is possible. And really, like, how do we not judge, right? Like, how do we not judge people that are like, oh, you can only sleep with strangers when you're on a business trip and I don't want to know right. about it. It's not <laughs> right. less good than yeah. I, me, my husband, his girlfriend, and my kids all go to like a Christmas party. Like, I think all of these should be welcomed as long as people express with consent their relationship. Right.